Watch your body front and sit up for real, for real. So let it stay right there. What's good? What's poppin'? How you doing? How you feeling? It's your boy Cav. I just kind of wanted, wanted to randomly hit a couple things. Um, you let me let's talk about some things, okay? Um, number one, making the band. Why in the good hell? I I I I don't I don't understand how, you know, five grown ass niggas could sit up there and act like a boo diddy fool every episode. Okay, yes, I said it, a boo diddy fool. They was acting up. Okay, like don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with crying, but nigga, y'all crying every episode over some bullshit over this nigga that don't know how to act right. It's no, it, it's it's not it's not the business. It, it's really not the business. Q needed. To take that break quite frankly if it, if it were up to me i would kick him out or at least scared him with that so that he can wake up you know what i'm saying he don't need a break he needs a wake-up call q over there mad at the damn world because of some fact that he feels like you know he wasn't included in anything and nobody's listening to him now i can't put it all on q because in the beginning the niggas was all doing their own thing planning how they want the album but nobody wanted to listen to his ideas so of course he drew himself out he started to rebel and you know, kind of became the outcast. Since nobody wanted to hear his idea, and him being a part of the group, he felt like he had to draw himself away from people. It's understandable. At the same time, nigga, when you crying and shit every fucking bit, every fucking episode, uh, because of little things, it's like, nigga, take the bitch assness out your ass and grow up, okay? With your little ducky bird looking ass, it don't make no sense. Like, I'm sorry, yo, I love me some cute, but he's bugging. Like, dude has issues right now. And I don't know what it is that he's suppressing, but he needs to let that shit out because Robert was about to get in that ass. Ryan was definitely about to get in that ass. Will threatened, and not only did he threaten, he was about to get in that ass earlier in the season. He been, he been fighting since the shit started. I don't understand. I, I don't get it. Q, what's the problem? What, what, really, we want to know. America wants to know. What's the problem, Q? Is this something that we have to discuss? Is, is, is it an issue going on with you? Are you having some, some problems at home? Cause you need to talk about it instead of fighting niggas all fucking up, uh, all fucking day, every day, every damn episode of the damn show. Come on, it make no sense. Um, yo, y'all, I I think I told y'all I, I deep conditioned my hair and I'm just loving it. I'm really loving like the the, the curliness and the the thickness and the softness. My my shit is baby soft. I tried to get my hair braided yesterday and it was so soft, homegirl couldn't even catch it. And she's a beast. I've seen her catch niggas' hair shorter than mine. She couldn't even get it. It was so soft. It was like she couldn't. She couldn't really maneuver. I don't know why. Anyway, but um, oh another thing. So I want to talk about something else. But yeah, the niggas is full. And, and and another thing too. Why is it that females feel like they have to jump in the fight when their man's involved? Dawn, bitch, get out. Get your ass to go sit down somewhere. Why the hell should jump in the fight? No, they're gonna hurt each other. Kill, kill, kill. Stop, stop, stop fighting, bitch. You talking all that shit and, and all that, you know, a uh, metaphorical bullshit, yet still, you wouldn't use none of that when when Danny Kane was going down and your boot was crumbling and bitches was messing with your money and here you are something trying to give niggas advice? No, you should have thought about that shit way back when, when Arby was acting goddamn fool, okay? She over there to catching the Holy Ghost, I shut up, Osa. What? I shut up, Osa. Dawn was buggy. <laughs> I know that was some funny. That was some funny shit. She caught the Holy Ghost for a minute, started speaking in tongues when she was talking to Robert. Cause I guess Robert had got what she was trying to say to him, and she just buzzed out. I shut up, oh stop. <laughs> mm. I was like, oh, ooh, okay, right, um, whatever. But anyway, so yeah, so um, but no, 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 bitch, you move out the way. You don't jump in the fight, and, and when when shit's popping off like that, and and Robert killed me too, cause when Robert he was like. It's like, we ain't dead and he came, you bitch ass niggas. <laughs> and he started calling, he started calling Q Aubrey. Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey. <laughs> he was bugging. He killed, killed me, he killed me. Um, in other news, now we all know, um, well, if you are subscribed to Infamous Track, you've heard the story about the Chia Pet incident where someone has made an Obama Chia Pet. And of course, when you grow out a Chia Pet, in any shape or any uh, 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 scope of a person or animal, it always goes out in like a little afro. And I guess people got offended by the fact that this Obama head, Chia Pet, was going out into an afro and I guess not golden locks or something that 
wouldn't insinuate something that is racist. Now, I don't feel like it was racist. I don't know why people are getting so offended. And I feel like my people, my black people, need to calm the shit down because you're giving people a reason to say that we're racist and that we're looking at color. And, and we're basically turning into those who did not vote for Obama because of race alone. We're turning into those who didn't vote for Obama because he's black or half black or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We're turning into those people. You know what I'm saying? Taking offense to little shit like that. I mean, okay, I can see how if you are in the midst of everything and you knew the, the reasons behind making the chia pet, that's different. But that's just how the shit grow. Now, if it just happens to go into the afro, which is how it happens to grow, then, I mean, there's really no problem. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, we didn't have the option of, of, of having it grow into an S-curl. We didn't have the option of it growing into dreadlocks. We didn't have the, the option of it growing into something that wouldn't insinuate something racist. But to me, shit, I got an afro. So does that make me racist? Does, does this mean that I should be ashamed of my fro because I happen to be a black man with an afro? Should I be ashamed of it? I don't understand. Obama rocked the afro for years. So how the hell are you going to sit there and be upset? Because they made a damn a damn chia pet with his face on it. That don't make no sense. That's childish. They made one with fucking Bugs Bunny, and that nigga had a fro. I ain't never seen Bugs Bunny with no goddamn afro. So it's like, why why are people taking offense to it? See, little shit like that is making the black people look very ignorant. And you needed to you need to really get it together. You need to go back to my other earlier videos about failures not an option, and to step your game up as a as a people, and maybe. You know, we as a community can learn some things and kind of regroup and get our shit together because we look stupid over here fighting about a fucking chia pet. With all the other things going on in the world, you you mean to tell me you're going to get mad over a goddamn chia, chia pet? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense at all. Um, they even made one with Hillary Clinton. So it's like, what you going to do then when that comes out? It's still going to be an afro. What you going to say then? probably gonna say Obama's fucking her and, and, and so they try to say oh she got some nigga in her that's what they gonna I'm just saying I'm just saying they might say that um what else um in other news uh I believe that's really oh why do they have these ghetto ass boo diddy coon crunchity crickety crackly coon ass country ass bumpkin ass bitches fighting on YouTube now I've seen some more ghetto ass fights on YouTube before but I seen this one where these country motherfuckers this 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 woman had her baby in her hand now, I hope I can find the video and leave it in the description for y'all this bitch had her baby in her hand put the baby in a damn truck and 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 proceeded to fight with her baby daddy and get all in his face and cussed him out because he wasn't paying child support and he got a job I'm assuming and he wasn't paying for his child so she gets in his face and starts coming at him hard body next thing you know this nigga click clap cool and knocks the shit out of her she's like oh 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 that ain't right oh but yeah yeah I, I bet I bet bitch um I, and I bet you think twice so you try to hit on a nigga that's like stick two okay over some damn child support money. What I don't get is, is see, this bitches are so stupid. Cause see, what I don't get with the, how the world is now, a woman who is in a bind financially and has a child by someone who is not, you know, in the household or is not taking care of their responsibilities, can go to court and get money out this nigga to the point where even if he wouldn't voluntarily do so, they would take the money out of his check every month and make sure that she receives something in raising her child. There is WIC, there are food stamps, Section 8, housing, there's all the other things that you, you know, can use and be independent and not have to depend on a nigga. You know what I'm saying? And the th another thing I don't get is, well, homie, homie, you knew that he wasn't shit when you was with him and when you laid up with him. So now you're expecting him to be shit after the child? I'm not following. I'm not. You know, um, maybe you should up your standards a little bit. And maybe if you up your standards and stop fucking with these no good, no, no good at all niggas then maybe they would, mm, I don't know, not be no good niggas after you fuck and after you have a child with them. I'm just saying. Maybe if you get a good nigga, then he can kind of remain a good nigga because um, you already established that he is a good nigga. So you ain't got to worry about having a home and a child with this good nigga and him turning into a no good nigga. I'm just saying. That's just me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've rambled on enough. And so I'm going to leave it at 
that. If I have something else, I will return. Um, but for now, that's all. You know, um, Q, stop crying. Um, day 26, get your shit together. Kudos to Mike, representing for the big people. I, I respect you, brother, because you kept your shit. I'm mad Q try to point the finger at Mike and say he wasn't shit because he didn't stick up for him. But see, Mike is like me. See, big niggas, we sweat and we get hot and fast and we don't like to fight and get into shit. So we stay out of it, you know, and just kind of me mediate after the shit done popped up. We let your little skinny bitches fight and then we gonna jump in after and we'll talk it out. See, Mike did what he was supposed to do as a big nigga. He represented power to the big people, all right? So um, with that said, and I thank you. Um, shout out to Miss TP90. Um, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace of chicken grease. Can't even compare.